Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, another development about the road to the Rama and this is the starting point. I decided to create such a series of video starting from this changing this diorama that I realized and the idea comes from the setbox of uh, Age of Sigmar, the first leasing. You can find also this model eventually in uh, the Thunder Brothers uh, Coletto, so you don't have a problem about finding this later. But it's the idea that changed and it comes from wanting to utilize the miniatures that were inside this box itself. And you can find the seed about this idea in the booklet that it's inside this releasing. And you can find a lot of nice images that you can use as a referring because it's quite important to have such ones as a referring to know which ones go to see and having for example the idea for dioramas for positioning some parts of the models and so on. And here we can see a detail about the mission that attracted my eye. So never flip aside these booklets, these images, because they can be really quite interesting as a referring to use for your armies. Moreover, use this as an inspiration for having some themes for your background, for your basis and so on, because everything can be used. They are really quite nice referring to have a view about. Here we can see the pieces about the Lord Celestant of Dracot and we have to use this time to analyze and study the parts that we need to modify, magnetize and so on. And one thing that I noticed doing the analysis is for example the rock at one foot and this is something that I had to remove because my idea is to create that the flesh hound is under its feet so I don't have to have a rock that it's going against the head or so on of the flesh hound so I have to remove it and eventually remember to do it quite cleanly because if you need you can recover it using in another part as I do too so take notice of the different parts and try to make a design in your mind on how you'd like to create your continuing of the modifying then I go to monetize the arm because I need to have it that it can be changed and so on and it's the most easy thing to do. For doing this I used a 2 for 2 mm one cylinder one and about this I could also remove the arm complete one instead of only the front arm. The problem is that if I do such a thing there is a problem with the upper part and so on, have then to remodel it and I wasn't like the idea. So I decided to only monetize the form arm because it was yet ready to do and quite simple to realize. And moreover, it's easy because I don't have to change everything and also the shoulder pads, but simply I have to change the forearm and have a lot of them available from other sets of the Stormcast Eternus ones. And before I forgot, uh, on this piece of the forearm with the weapon, there is also a piece of the shoulder pad. You can remove it, but it's not a problem. If you mean to use this weapon also on other options for other models, you can think about removing it. Otherwise, uh, it's not so important, because on this model, keeping off or putting on, you almost don't see the difference and it can be fought as a battle damage, so it's okay anyway. Then I also monetized the head because I wanted the option that I could change the head with other ones based on my mood and also because maybe it can change the model, for example I can represent a normal Lord Celestial, a specific one or change everything. 
and about this uh, I had two options or fill the gap and uh, make a drill and use that uh, as a way to put the magnet inside always a 2 for 2 mm one or going to put directly the magnet uh, refilling with a bit of clean stuff and so on it's up to you decide which one is the better way that you can gain anyway remember that you have to monetize both the head and the body where you have to put that obviously and then I started to try to position the model using the Patafix to keep everything on site and using it to try to understand if it was good or not, some position and so on. At the beginning, I started trying only to use the Lord Jenison on Dracut and the Flesh Hound, but I was not so satisfied about the result, so I decided to try to add changing the position and the, the orientation about the Lord Chalestant on Tracot and adding so the Mighty Lord of Core and sincerely I appreciated a lot the result that I gained so I tried different position and so on so that I was able to find the idea that I started to have in mind obviously it's not a normal model it's a diorama anyway but I really like the idea that I gained and so I decided to use such nucleus as one and after trying to position the three different models in different positioning, try to combine everything together to bring the model on. Then I used the primer on each model separately. I, I didn't glue everything together now because I wanted to paint them separately before to glue so that uh, I didn't have uh, to have problem to reach some parts paint them after having glued everything together and it is now that I noticed that it would have been better if I angled a bit the Lord Celestant of Dragot and I used a rock that came from the modifying of the Lord Relitor, the one that you can find in the description, the Lord Relitor against the Kulgorath. So I was trying to have this type of adjustment and so on, even when building the model because each time that I did so I was able to perfect it a bit as I'd like to see the model itself. And then I painted the flesh hound using a combination of color of the sun yellow and bloody red of the game color of the Vallejo and the scale color 75 Antares red. I used a combination that I could not reproduce now because uh, I was uh, on uh, an idea of the moment. So I decided when I was painting and so on, trying to mix and try to see if the color was something that I liked. So it was something that it was not programmed, but uh, it was an inspiration that I followed. And sometimes you have to follow your inspiration. Anyway, it's now after I prepared the model of the Fresh Hound that I glued it to the base, pay attention, and also the rock so that I had the positioning of the models fixed because I decided how to use and pose the models but I needed a referring so I used this moment after the fresh hand was prepared to make the base itself so I used this as the main part of the base and then I started to paint the Mighty Lord of Corn. I painted separately so that I had no problem about reaching certain zones that otherwise would be problematic and were visible. And so I decided to paint using a classic method. And for me, the red is easy because I'm used to paint the Blood Angels armies. And in the description you can find the painting guide about how I realized the red armors and also you can find the link about my painting about the mantle itself that it's related about my reverse converted in eliminator code you can find an example of what i used it's quite simply but really effective this is a mod that i really liked simply load this model it has a lot of options that you can use to create your own personalization and so on and even if it's not put in such model, in such diorama, it can give you quite a lot of nice efforts. 
The only thing that I was not sure about it was the hand with the chain, if to keep it, change it or not. I decided to make it seem that the Celeste Dragon, the, the Lord Celeste on Dracut, had kept off the fresh arm from the chain, and so the other one was in the moment where when it has been after, right after the fighting of the two parts. So I really like to take such sheen, such moment. And then it was the moment about painting the Lord Celestan on Tracot. And in this moment I decided to paint it quite easily. So the blue of the Dracot, it was a combination of different colors because uh, I wanted to realize something a bit different. So I mixed a lot of different blues and passages to realize uh, such scheme of colors. I, again, can't say about it because uh, it was on the spur of the moment. So I was really taken on the model itself. And about the Lord Chalice itself, I painted it using a line up of or better a highlight of make it drew on the line of the model and then moving on it using the racket flash so it was a different way to paint the black than i usually use and i tried after but it's really an interesting way and the only problem that i had about this model was the metal because i'm used to paint white armors and it's easy but about the mantles, it had to be cleaner and uh, homogeneous and so on. So I had a little problems about uh, realizing it. And so I had to alternate it using different type of white and then moving sealing the color with some matte varnish and so on. So that obviously not a glossy one. And so realizing the ideas that I had in mind and doing it step by step. Anyway, remember that after you have a way to retouch the model. So try to be really quite paying attention to the parts that are, um, I can say deeper, so that you have later have problems about reaching. But uh, on the edge, uh, you can a bit uh, work afterward, because uh, after you assemble everything together, you have to refine it a bit. So pay attention eventually to such uh, moment. Then I assembled the Lord Celestial on Dracut with the Flesh Hound, but not yet still the Mighty Lord of Corn, because the model of the Lord Celestial I had perfect in mind where it was, but there was something that it was not completely clear in my mind about the Mighty Lord, there was something that was missing, and uh, it was not so certain about how to realize. So I was continuing to move in a bit it uh, to find the real good positioning that uh, was suiting me. And at the end, I find something that it was perfect for uh, having these models. So I decided to pay a little modification. I decided to angle on height the Mighty Lord of Corn. And to angle it, I decided to use some screws from the set of the shuttered Dominion pieces and uh, use them after polishing it on the base, or better, under the base of uh, the Mighty Lord of Corn. This uh, it was a way to solidify and better angle the model itself. And I decided to use uh, so the snow of the Vallejo now, because uh, this was uh, a way to put uh, everything together with the other models. I want to remind you that this is the Road to Diorama, one of the miniatures of the project. And also it has the possibility to create a sort of cement that was stabilizing the Mighty Lord of Corn on the base itself. Because the result was not sufficient yet for me, I decided to put other skulls and another step of the snow of the valley itself. And then I closed everything with the Agrax Earthshade as usual for this style of basin for this diorama. And 
I decided that it was perfect. So eventually remember that you can add eventually other pieces of snow and so on and finish it with other Agax Driftshed. It's up to you decide when you are satisfied with the contour and the dimension of the gate itself. And then you have only to finish everything, collaging the painting and so on as you like. One thing that I liked about this model and this positioning, it was that I was able to pin the axe of the Mighty Lord of Chaos with the tail of the Dracot of the Lord Celestial on Dracot. This let me have another point of contact so it was more stable. So I was able to create that the model was stable because there was the snow that was keeping the model inside. But it was a way to have also a sort of other dynamic. So it seemed that the two are going to deflect each other and so on. So it's another way to have another step of dynamic on the model itself. I really liked as this model was out and it was really quite similar to the idea that I gained from this model. Obviously it's completely different because it's the moment after the one that I fought. But I think that it's worth as a modification and final one. And here you can see the comparison of the idea of the project when I started with the position of the different models and the final result. Sincerely, I liked how I changed the things. So trying and uh, modify the things, I think that it's really good to obtain something that suits you much more because you can see that the idea is the same, but you can change, not have uh, some uh, worry about having uh, changes or having adjustment on your model, on your idea while you're doing it, because you can also have some improvement doing such thing. So this is a model that I loved in all the process that I had, and uh, the planning, uh, the realization, uh, the painting, Everything really made me love the idea of how I was developing the model and making progress doing such diorama. And I think that it's the satisfaction that you can gain from having something that suits you based on a concept and then made it coming to life. So, from Dynamod it's everything. I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to come and divide this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again to the next time.